Welcome to the channel Easy Way to Physics with Jaya. Today we can learn some important rules to draw the ray diagrams. Also, how to draw a ray diagram accurately. Before starting, please subscribe the channel and tap the bell button to get the notifications. There are some rules to be followed while drawing ray diagrams. Rule 1 is about the ray of light parallel to the principal axis. In the case of convex lens, the ray of light parallel to the principal axis will pass through the principal focus on the other side of the lens after refraction in the case of convex lens as shown in the diagram. Now, the same rule, rule 1 for concave lens. The ray of light parallel to the principal axis will appear to diverge from the principal focus on the same side of the concave lens. And we call the convex lens as the converging lens and concave lens as diverging lens. Rule 2 is about the incoming rays which are passing through the focus. In the case of convex lens, if the incoming rays are falling on the lens after passing through the focus, they will emerge parallel to the principal axis after refraction. In the case of concave lens, if the incoming rays are passing through the focus or they are falling on the concave lens in the direction of the focus, both are shown in the diagram. After refraction, they emerge parallel to the principal axis. Same as in the case of convex lens. Rule 3. The ray of light passing through the optic center of the lens, that is the center of the lens, will emerge without any deviation after refraction. In the case of convex lens as well as concave lens. This is the summary of the rules. Rule 1 is about the ray which is parallel to the principal axis. After refraction, it will pass through the focus or it appears to be diverged from the focus. Rule 2 is about the incoming ray which is passing through the focus. After refraction, it goes parallel to the principal axis. Third rule about the ray which is passing through the optic center. It will go undeviated. Without any deviation it passes. In an accurate ray diagram, the position of the image, size of the image and other characteristics of the image should come correctly. For that, we have to be careful about some important things. Next, we can study how to draw a ray diagram accurately. To draw an accurate ray diagram, the first point we have to remember is the position of the object and image. We have to be thorough with that. For example, here a diagram is given. Here the object is placed at 2F. Then we should know where will be the image formed. If object is at 2F, image also will be at 2F. But see, in this diagram, image is not formed at 2F. So, this is a wrong diagram. Image should be at 2F and the size of the image should be of the same as the size of the object. But here, these two points are not satisfied. Image is not formed at 2F and the size is not the same. So, this diagram is wrong. Where we made the mistake? We have to find it out and we, we should know how to draw it correctly. To draw the ray diagram, the first step is to draw the lens and mark its center of curvatures. For that, we are drawing two circles of almost equal radii with their edges overlapping each other. Please make sure that we are using a sharp pencil and a plastic or transparent scale for drawing lines and a compass for drawing circles. Then, mark the center of the circus. Where you fix the pin of the compass, that will be the center of the circus. You mark it as the center of curvatures C1 and C2. 
Then the next is the optic center. The overlapping part of the circus is considered as the lens. And center of that overlapping part mark it as optic center of the lens. Next we have to mark the focal points F1 and F2. As you know there are two focal points two for, say, for a lens on left side and right side. And focal point is the midpoint between optic center and center of curvature. That we have to measure accurately using a scale. Here the distance between optic center and center of curvature C1 is 1.65. Half of that is 0 0.83. So 0 0.83 whether it is centimeter or inches we have to measure it from C1 towards the optic center and mark it as F1. Then next right side distance between O and C2 is 1.62 inches here. Half of that uh, is taken as 0.81 that we measure from O or C2 towards the mid, middle point. Then mark it as F2. Here we mark F1 and F2 as the focal points of the lens on left side and right side. And the focal length depends on the thickness of the lens. Focal length, you know, it is the distance between optic center and the focus. That depends on the thickness of the lens. And now next step is to draw an object at 2F. 2F is the position of C1. You can draw the object at C1 or C2. Now consider two rays starting from the top of the object. The first ray parallel to the principal axis passes through the focus on the other side of the lens after refraction. And the second ray passes through the optic center without any deviation. Draw these two lines and make sure that they are bending at the middle of the lens. To confirm this, we can draw a straight line joining the ends of the lens. Now, both the rays meet at 2F on the other side of the lens where the image is formed. Characteristics of the image formed. Here we got an inverted real image of the same size as the object and the position of the image is at 2F. For the exa, you may get a question, you may get a drawing and it will be asked, write the characteristics of the image formed in the diagram. How can you write that? Then you have to check if the image is formed below the principal axis, it is an inverted image. And check the height of the image and object is the same or different. Is it bigger or smaller? That also you can write. Now, if that uh, refracted rays are really meeting at a point, then you will get the real image. If they are appear to come from a point, then you will get a a virtual image. Here we got the real image. Draw and practice the ray diagrams accurately. Hope you understood the topic well. I will come with more ray diagrams in the next video. Please enter your doubts and suggestions in the comment box. Please subscribe the channel and tap the bell button to get the notifications. Don't forget to share with your friends. Thank you.